Hey, what's up, amigos? This is Joe Perez, host of Vamos al Mambo. Whether your project is outside the lawn, inside the house, or you're going on vacation, I'm going to show you how to tackle those projects and also give you tips when you're going on vacation. Today, we are going to season or do a burn off on the Pro Series Pit Boss uh, Smoker. And we also want to do a prime. So the first thing we want to do is to ensure that the unit is working properly. We're going to be doing that by plugging in uh, your smoker. Once you see that the unit is working properly, you're going to want to turn it off. And you're, what you're going to do is you're going to press the power button and leave it pressed until you see that the panel turns off. Now, the fan is going to continue to work because it's going to cool off the unit. Once that's done, it will shut down. Then we're going to proceed to add pellets onto the bag, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Like we always say, vamos al mambo. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> open the bag of the pellets and we're going to throw them in here okay this is so we can see the quantity of the pellets just open this bag Let's see real quick We already have our pellets inside the machine. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on. We're gonna do the prime, which basically is dropping the pellets into the igniter. Uh, Press chamber. and hold the prime button until you see the pellets dropping into the chamber. As you can see, little by little, the pellets are coming into the chamber. Pretty soon, it's going to start to heat up and start smoking, and that's what we want. <laughs> See that smoke coming in? Woo! Mm, there's a lot of smoke going on. There we go. You can see the little flames now. I went ahead and turned off the unit. Basically, it's still burning. It's going to go through a process of cooling down. However, we still have some pellets in there. Uh, so we gotta wait for that to, to burn it off and for the unit to turn off. But once the unit is turned off, that means it's already cool. I'm gonna go ahead and put in all the racks in place, all the cooking materials. Uh, this flame shredder right here. And then we are going to turn the machine on and we're gonna leave it at high for about 45 minutes that way it's gonna burn off everything. And after that, we can start cooking, baby. All right, so we're gonna load up the racks. Make sure we smoke everything, kill every germ or bacteria. For the first time, we are doing this. Okay. All right, so we're closing the unit. We're going to set this baby for the first time. All right, so I'm going to turn it on. Fan is on. According to this, we are going to set it to the highest level, which is a 350. Actually, I take that back. It has. 400 degrees and then after that it, there is a high but according to the menu the first time we're going to set it at 350 and we're going to be doing about 30 to 40 minutes okay there's the burn off we have it at high heat right now there's just killing all that nasty stuff 
After 40 minutes, turn off the unit and basically you are ready to cook. Hey, what's up amigos? I have the ribs now, about four hours. Now I change it to smoke. Uh, that is the least uh, temperature, uh, less than 200, probably 175. But you can see it's smoking. Hey, what's up amigos? Joe Perez aquí, anfitrión de Vamos al Mambo. Ya sea tu proyecto la parte de afuera, o sea dentro del hogar, o te vas de vacaciones, Joe Perez te va a enseñar cómo hacer esos proyectos y también te voy a dar consejos mientras vas de vacaciones. Estados de Ben, vieron en este, la primera parte del video, en la parte de inglés. Eh, lo que hicimos fue que prendimos la unidad, eh, aseguramos de que estaba todo trabajando. Eh, le echamos también lo que se llama la, las pelotitas de, de madera que vamos a utilizar para darle sabor a la carne. Y en la parte de atrás hicimos lo que se le llama el prime, o sea, le apretamos el botón, eso ocasionó que el motor adentro empezara a dar vuelta y entonces eh, las pelotitas esas de madera empiezan a salir desde la parte de atrás empiezan a caer dentro del el asador como tal o del, del quemador ya están prendidos lo que hice fue que de, después de, de verificar que estaba funcionando la unidad la apagué el abanico sigue corriendo hasta que la unidad se enfría en ese proceso, cuando se enfrió, entonces le puse los racks donde se va a cocinar y entonces prendimos la unidad ahora mismo a 375 grados. Lo vamos a dejar ahí por unos 30 a 40 minutos. Se lo voy a hacer a la mitad, lo voy a llevar a 35. Y eso lo que va a hacer es que va a quemar todas las impurezas de la parte de adentro eh, de, que se le pegaron a la unidad cuando estaba ensamblándola, ¿no? Y todo también, obviamente, cuando yo la instalé tocándole, qué sé yo, vamos a quemar todas esas impurezas. Después que pase eso, entonces va a estar lista para, para poner un poco de carne ahí dentro. Y después de eso, ustedes saben, uh, vamos al mambo. Uh, uh. costillas ahí dentro y chuleta cancán ya llevan como unas cuatro horas ahora las tengo en lo que se llama eh, humo smoke parece la temperatura más baja así entonces lo que le va a dar es la y, y fusión o la va a dar el sabor ese a uh, humo vamos a ver como ven as you can see there's the ribs mm, they're looking yummy let me open this up, so that way you don't get the reflection of the glass. Déjame abrir esto para ver, para que ustedes vean que no tengan la, la reflexión. Mira, vaya cómo se ve eso. Wow. Ahí está la chuleta cancán. So these are big pork chops that we call the Puerto Rico cancán. They're extremely big. Beautiful. Beautiful. Almost done. There is my Bluetooth thermometer. Let me move it around. A little bit so you can see it this I picked up in Amazon and I'm gonna put the description down below and it tells me the temperature of the ribs and also the chuleta por, uh, pocha can can inside ahí ven amigos un termómetro uh, bluetooth digital que lo puedo leer también en mi teléfono me da la temperatura de ambas carnes de la chuleta can can y también de las costillas Voy a poner la descripción en la parte de abajo por si acaso se interesan. Pueden darle el clic al link y comprarlo. Muy eficiente. Have it also on my phone. Right there. That's my phone. My application. This works wonders. Ahí está la aplicación en mi teléfono. Puedo ver la temperatura. Aquí le voy a hacer una toma. El termómetro. Aquí ven, está muy bueno esto, 
así que no tengo que estar abajo en medio de este humentín sino que lo sigo elevando la temperatura de mi teléfono tested our smoker it did great time to eat tiempo de comer ya probamos el asador momento para comer buen provecho bon appetit everyone